Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen. Commodity TV for you in Zurich today, and we would love to talk to the very successful Zimbabwean gold producer, Caledonia Mining. And with me here is Mark Lemons, the CFO of the company. Mark, thanks for taking your time. <laughs> yeah, Caledonia, successful story. You are producing gold in Zimbabwe, of course, we know that. But uh, how was the last year? Well, look, 2014 was, was never going to be a great year for us. As, as we guided through the year, production was less than we'd expected. Although we finished the year slightly higher than our final projections. But even so, lower production and uh, a lower gold price, uh, we still ended the year with more cash than we started. So Fantastic. the business is still cash generative yeah. at $12.50 to at $1,250 gold, even lower. So that's fine. There, there was no, um, there were no sort of um, issues, accidents, whatever. Funny. Yeah. Funny yeah, yeah. <laughs> so really, we want to put 2014 behind us uh, and move forward and look at 2015 and then 2016. 2015, uh, the production guidance for 2015 is pretty much the same as 2016. Mm -hmm. You know, as we're continuing to implement the, mm -hmm. the light new life of mine plan, mm -hmm. you know, we're having to do a lot of work at the moment, which means we can't actually ramp up the tons and can't get that production up. So over the course of 2015, we expect um, the cash to come down slightly mm -hmm. because Caledonia will still continue to pay dividends. Mm -hmm. That's this. important, so yeah. Yeah, oh yes. <laughs> we'll still continue to pay dividends, but we are continuing to we're investing heavily. We'll be spending nearly 16, 16 and a half million dollars mm -hmm. in the course of 2015. So mm -hmm. the cash will come down a bit. I'd expect by the end of the year it's down to perhaps being 15, 16, 17 million dollars. Still healthy, but you know, it's going to, the cash is going to get absorbed. Um, but I think critically during the course of 2015, we do expect to see um, earnings increase. Uh, and earnings will increase despite flat production because we've already taken measures to reduce some of our overheads. Mm -hmm. um, we've started, unfortunately, started the process of closing down the uh, operation in Zambia, which is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. um, and we've also made other cuts in the, in the head office GNA cost, which goes straight to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. um, and in addition, because we're investing so, um, so heavily in Zimbabwe, the tax bill, the tax burden in Zimbabwe will be considerably lower this year and next year mm -hmm. and the year after. And because we're not, getting, we're not extracting dividends out of Zimbabwe, the withholding tax leakage will also be lower. So last year we did um, earnings on, a, on an IFRS basis of about nine cents a share. This year we're looking at um, it would be say fifteen US, say twenty Canadian. So quite wow. a significant increase in in the that's fantastic this year. Yeah. And then next year, two thousand sixteen, we expect to see um, profits continue to increase, but this time driven by increasing um, production. Mm -hmm. So we expect to see production. For the new number six wins uh, commencing in January 2016 mm -hmm. and building up through the year. So you'll expect to see the earnings momentum we're building up in 2015 continue into 2016, into 2017, into 2018, mm -hmm. and the cash generation to pick up uh, in 2016 onwards. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So the plan for this year is again like 40, 42,000 ounces, correct? We say 42,000. It's always, yeah. always a bit of bit of wiggle. Is it going to be 41 and a bit? Or yeah, well, let's roughly, so yeah. It will be somewhat yeah. back-ended. Mm -hmm. um, it's always a slow start to the year. There are more working days in the second half of the year than the yeah. first half of the year. And actually, when we finish the, um, the tramming loop, mm -hmm. it kind mm -hmm. of reduce it improves our ability to move stuff around underground. Oh, so okay. The, the first quarter production results were uh, just less than 10,000 ounces, which if you multiply that by four, mm -hmm. it's quite a bit less than 42. Yeah. But we're confident that's exactly on plan. That's exactly mm -hmm. what we'd intended. And so we're very comfortable that uh, over the course of the year, at this stage, we'll do 42. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And what's the plan for next year? Like 45-ish yeah, or? Next year, we'll be at 50. At 50 again? Yeah. Oh, wow. But it will incrementally uh -huh. build up through the year. So I'd expect that um, I'd expect the quarter one will be less than the quarter two, which will increase in quarter three. So it will, you don't expect to get to the runway immediately. It's not like turning a light mm -hmm. on. Yeah. You know, in South Africa, you turn the light on and nothing happens. Yeah. Um, it will build up over the course of the year, which you know, means the, the, the quarter on quarter increase in, in, in profit will continue through 2016. Yeah, okay, so fantastic. It will create a great story because I think one of the issues that the investors still have is they still cannot understand how it is we can continue to operate successfully in Zimbabwe. And what we have to do is every quarter, mm -hmm. we have to show, give them a dividend check, which I know you like, mm -hmm. um, give them a dividend check, and if we can establish a track record of quarter on quarter increments in profit, that should hopefully begin to allay some of the, uh, some of the lingering concerns about operating in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. How is the situation overall in Zimbabwe? Let's talk the political situation, environmental situation. As we know, uh, Robert Mugabe has quite a certain age now. Is there, yeah, have you checked uh, something with the government already? Do, are you in talkings? How, how does it work? We, we maintain a, 
we don't get too close to government. I think mm-hmm. it's not healthy. Uh, but at the same time, we, we, we'd be unwise to ignore them completely. So we've established, we, Steve, Steve Curtis, the new CEO, and I went up and we met uh, the Minister of Mines, the Minister of Finance, mm-hmm. the Government of Reserve Bank mm-hmm. um, a couple of weeks ago. Very cordial relations. They're very much behind what we're doing in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. They're very pleased to see that we're going to grow production, we're going to create more jobs. Mm-hmm. Very, very keen. And they, That's they, important. Uh... Like, which is really struggling. You know, 400 high quality jobs is... is, is wow. Important. That's a lot. Yeah. Very supportive. The, the difficulty is that the Zimbabwe government still remains in, in some quite tense discussions with other, other, other mining companies, particularly in the platinum sector. And so what investors have got to be aware of is that there will continue, there may well be adverse commentary which is quite aggressive towards the platinum companies mm-hmm. and they mustn't read across from that and think that affects ours. Mm-hmm, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Our position is completely separate, fully indigenized, our indigenous partners mm-hmm. are right behind us. So we, we actually see the situation in Zimbabwe improving quite significantly. Mm-hmm. Governments reduced the tax burden on us. Mm-hmm. Uh, the royalty rate came down from 7% to 5%. I mean, who hears of royalty but, rates coming down? Yeah, well, uh, that's the only one I heard, honestly. It, I only hear it rising <laughs> in yeah, other countries. Certainly yeah. in Zambia, the, yeah. the, the royalty rate is going up to like 20%, which is wow. killing, which is killing <laughs> what's left of it. Forget about to work there. Yeah. So, you know, we, we're seeing within the limited... Co- limited capacity the government has to do posit- take positive steps, we are seeing it, and it's very grateful. Um, you know, we, we don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So really we just hope that we can see a continuation of stability, and we're just left alone to deliver what we said we're going to deliver, which mm-hmm. is increasing production to 80,000 mm-hmm. ounces, getting those cash costs down, making more profit, paying more taxes, employing mm-hmm. more people, and making more money for everybody. Mm-hmm. Right. And maybe raising the dividend. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we've confirmed that the dividend is secure yeah. for 2015. Yeah. And the only reason we won't go beyond 2015 is that we're not soothsayers. We can't predict what's going to happen. Yeah, of course. To the gold price in 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we expect our cash generation to begin to increase in 2016, mm-hmm. surely we will have the capacity mm-hmm. in 2016 to start to move the um, to start to move the, the dividend up. So what I would like to see over the course of 2016, 17, 18 is increasing dividend payments and mm-hmm. a falling yield, mm-hmm. which means that the share price should appreciate yeah. turbo charges moving to the shareholders yeah, that's yeah. what we expect to see in the coming coming in three or four years i think that's a great game plan because i'm a shareholder of you guys and i love my dividend check every quarter <laughs> and you too that's right so we sit in the same boat and uh, yeah all the best for you for that and i look forward to interview you uh, quite soon for uh, for an update and uh, yeah i expect all this going well so far also in the future and thanks for that mark Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was Mike Lehmanns, the CFO of Caledonia Mining. Well, you heard it. Everything is on track. Everything is on plan. And even also in Zimbabwe, everything is going well inside the country. And yeah, the most important thing to me is what he said so far is, yeah, the plan for dividends for this year is already fixed and set. And uh, hopefully they will increase the next years moving on, moving forward. And uh, yeah, we will wait and see. But I'm very confident they will make it. Ciao from Zurich. Bye bye.